Hello class. In today's video we are going to go over the difference between common milkweed and swamp milkweed. The first difference between the two is that swamp milkweed can reach a height of around 150 centimeters or 5 feet. Swamp milkweed stems grow from a clump that gets larger every year, and those stems open up in a fan-like fashion. Common milkweed can reach heights of 2.6 meters or 8 feet and the stems grow straight up from rhizomes. Right from the start when they come up in the spring, these milkweed species look different. Here are photos of their shoots in early June. These shoots have several differences, the biggest being that the swamp milkweed comes up in clusters, and the common milkweed come up as one shoot. Swamp milkweed flowers appear as clusters at the top of the stems. They are usually pink, sometimes white. Common milkweed flowers bloom alongside the stems near the top and as pink clusters. The next difference is swamp milkweed have narrow and pointed leaves that are glabrous whereas common milkweed leaves are longer and larger and their tip is more round. The vein pattern of the two species is also different. The pods and seeds. Swamp milkweed pods are mostly still green when their seeds are ripe. They contain roughly 65 to 70 seeds. Most of the pods ripen in about a month. Common milkweed pods are more plump and light green when still unripe, with soft spikes. They contain roughly 75 to 80 seeds and ripen in 3 to 5 weeks. The pods of those two species split longitudinally when their seeds are ripe, and each seed has a small silky parachute to facilitate its spread. The seeds of the two species are similar in shape, but the swamp milkweed seeds are lighter brown and larger than the common milkweed seeds. However, the parachutes of the latter have longer silks than the former. Next difference is the root system. Swamp milkweed forms a clump of roots, which are white and fleshy. The future stems grow from buds at the base of the plant, so that one plant clump has many stems after a few years. This makes it easy to transplant even when the clump is large. They also prefer a damp environment and soil to spread their roots more easily. Common milkweed grows horizontal rhizomes that can extend several feet, and stem buds start along those rhizomes. Thus one single plant can cover a large space, forming colonies, and unlike the swamp milkweed they can grow in a drier environment and soil with their root system. The final difference between the two is the milkweed toxicity. Not all milkweeds have the same level of toxic substances which are harmful to humans and also grazing animals and poultry. Those toxins are most present in the plant sap, a milky substance that gives the plant its name. The levels of toxicity of the two milkweed species described here are that swamp milkweed has a high toxicity whereas the common milkweed has a moderate toxicity. Many wild plants such as milkweed are eaten by humans as part of a more natural diet, however precautions need to be taken in the food preparation. There is information available online and in books about how to prepare milkweed, on which species can be eaten, in which part and at which stage. If you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button. All information used in this video will be in the description below.